Welcome back to the basement yard. Duh. We're back. We're back. Oh, the basement boys are back. First, you gotta put your thighs into it. Oh, don't start that. I was gonna keep going. Is that my neck, my back, my pussy, my crack? You damn it is. Yeah. I don't think that's the whole. No, the title of the song is my back, my neck, my back, my pussy, my crack. The my pussy, my crack thing is out of the title. It's just my. Oh yeah, it is. You're my right. neck, my back. But in just... parentheses, maybe pussy and crack. Maybe. I mean, you you put, put the pussy in the parentheses. That's yeah. the way it goes. Yeah. Uh, what a also song. not really sexy to call it your crack. Yeah, if if I was if said my ass, if if Becca was like, yo, like you know, like I don't even know. There's no sexy way to ask someone to eat. booty eat. Well, did you say booty butt eat? <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, eat, you're, eat ass. Eat ass. Yeah, but eat like, ass eat, is the accepted. It don't says booty anymore. What years? I don't know. Fucking ninety eight. Yeah. What, what the fuck? I don't know if. Wow, that is a good booty. Ew. I just hate. Yeah. Saying anyone that says that now, quit. Uh, but imagine a woman just being like, I bet you wanna. Lick my crack. I'd be like, "What are you a plumber? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're crack." When you say crack, it it sounds inherently sweaty and gross. Yeah, like, like a crack. I'm yeah. thinking like an old hairy ass. Exactly. Like what, what? When you think of a crack, it's not a pleasant thing. No. Like a crack in the sidewalk. Something's broken. Your mother's back, maybe. Odell. Oh yeah. Step on the crack, you break your mother's back. And I don't want to do Put that. Put your tongue in the crack. What you fucking what? break your mother's heart. Yeah. What happens to your mom's back then? Nothing. But she's upset. I would assume. Uh, but yeah, like if uh, there's no sexy way to say, like, what are you gonna say? Like, I, I guess you just gotta lean in dirty. Like, I'm gonna fucking munch on your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to go about you it. Say munch. You can say munch. Why can't you say munch? Dude, because that Im- that's involving teeth. I think a munch is like a. <sighs> Yeah, that's but that's not necessarily teeth. No, I'm not saying like I'm gonna carve my fucking name in your ass. No, but like, that's not, no. But if you see, <laughs> if you're like yo, shit. I'm munching on this fucking burger right now. Yeah, that sounds. Del- it's more of like a a cozy feeling, like when you're munching on some goodies. Oh no, I feel munch is like way more no, violent. No, no, I like, would I'm, say I'm gonna munch on your dick. I'd be like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> well, that's different because a dick is like a straw. I would say that uh, like what. A dick is like, it's like a straw. Like, you know when you, like, bite on straws? You mean you munch on them? Well, no, you bite on them. You bite. Munch is like a cozy way of saying things. Like, ooh, I want, I want a munchies. Munch, munch. You know? And, like, if someone said, like, yo, munch on my butthole. That's, I guess, like, you need to lean into it. But, like, if someone were to, like, yo, lick my crack, I'd be like, first of all, fucking hold on. I, I would, I mean, I'd rather get rid of munch and crack. Munch my crack. That is just insane to me. Would you like to munch my crack? I'd be like, I'd like to go home. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like you to call me an Uber. I would not. I would not be going there. Yeah, I would no, not be doing no that. No cracks. Also, lick my neck? What? Lick your necks. Lick your necks. Y- you, like, breathe on necks, and you, like, you know, you maybe a little bit of biting on Yo, neck. Yo, I recently, like, thought of, like, a breathing on a neck thing. You'd like the nape of a neck. Because, like, it's so, like, it's kind of funny. <sighs> and even kissing on necks is kind of stupid. I get ticklish. I don't like my neck being touched. Like, it doesn't bother me like my nippies, but like my <laughs> neck, I just don't, like, it's just more weird than it is uncomfortable. You know, it's like- I what? like a good breath in my neck. Like a- Really? Yeah, I can feel like the heat. Oh. oh. I don't, like what, <laughs> like just an exhale on a neck? Yeah, like, ex- like yo, get, put some- But like a sexy exhale, a sex hail. Dude, I like the fucking carbon dioxide right here, cuz- Really? Yeah. Like- <sighs> Yeah. Getting you moving. Don't do that. It's getting you moving. Yeah. Horny in an FDNY chat. Hello. Hat. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, ring the alarm. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of horny, <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen this fucking lamp? I posted it. I showed it to you. Did you? Yeah, I sent it to you. Oh, that's right. Oh, here we go. Real quick, uh, uh, micro keeping it frank. I sent you six texts yesterday. You didn't respond to a single one. Keeping it frank, done. Okay. Uh, oh, if we were going to talk about you answering texts, let's not even get started. Um, anyway. When it comes to you, I know my life's on the line, so I answer them. An hour later. Um, but yeah, the lamp that Frankie's referring to, it just looks like a... It looks like a dick. Well, yeah. (laughs) Say it. It's cocky. It's cocky. It's cocky. It's cocky. It's cocky. It looks like a cock. This lamp. It looks like a cock. So, why if, did I say it like If that? you guys haven't seen it, it looks like, literally looks like this. Looks like a cock. <laughs> Where the shaft of a cock meets a body. Yeah. And no balls that we've seen. No balls. The balls are the batteries, I assume. Well, yeah. Or the plug. And 
it is shaped like a dick, and it has with a book sock on it. A book sock on it, and to turn it on, you literally jerk it off. You jerk it down. You jerk it off to turn it on. Literally to turn it on, you have to go. You fucking pull the the literally the fucking foreskin. The foreskin of this lamp. You pull the foreskin back. Yeah. Who I? Hey, big lamp. I see what you're doing. Yeah. Stop trying to make circ- uncircumcised dicks cool again. You're you're sexualizing the lamps. Big lamp is making a move. Big lamp. Well, you they've been. I mean, you don't have one here, but I don't, our boy Danny Lopriori, ceiling titties. Yeah. They're a thing. Oh yeah, very sexual. Why are lamps so sexualized? That lamp right there looks like a big great anus. If you're far away from it enough. It, it, it could have the squinchy part. You know, the, you know, butts look like this. Not that. That's open. Yeah. Isn't that closed? Yeah, but you got to scrunch it more like. I can only scrunch so much, babe. I think you, you just called me babe. Uh, that's the best I could do. I think, like, why are we sexualizing lamps now? Why can't we just go back to when we would just fucking... Yo, can we just turn on a switch? I don't want to have to jerk this thing on or off. For Honestly, if they're going to go with, like, the whole jerking thing, like, make it a better looking lamp. Or put one on the wall where you got to, like, go like... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, teach, it easy. If we're going to sexualize lamps, teach men how to find the clitoris with this thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, big feminist over here. Big fem, big fem. Oh, big fem works well. Big fem, big lamp. I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna like make it so like the men need to like work to turn this light on, like they have to like go behind like a fucking like little flap you and gotta, put their hand in and like go like this. <laughs> turn, on. turn the lamp. You gotta like. <laughs> it only fits two fingers yeah, in there. I don't know our G spot. The, the 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 fucking on button for the lamp is in a hole. You, you broke your light, your phone already? I don't know what's going on. It's in a hole and like curved and you need to hit the button like that in order to turn it on. Wait, are you talking? Oh, you're... Why did you just flinch? No, because I didn't know if you were talking about the actual G-spot or like this hypothetical. I'm just saying. And then you make like the man lamps is like an asshole in a wall and you have to like put your fingers in it to reach the on lamp. You're really running away with this thing. If they're going to lean into it, go all in. <laughs> don't make a lamp that's the least awesome part of a dick. Like he's just like won't stop. He's like, or you could put a thing like it'll come all over you. <laughs> or like if we're just leaning into just like sexualizing like normal things in your like place, make like turning on a shower like nipples. I would love that. That would be nice, That'd right? Be so dope. Just like just like a oh. little hot, a little cold. You know what's crazy? Yeah, I heard during the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing. Oh. Um, but during that, they like raided his house, and he had a whole bunch of weird shit. Obviously, Duh. one thing he did have though that I was like, I was like, this is appalling. But under my breath, I was like, but that's kind of cool. It was by his bath. There was just two like rubber tits, like next to his bath. <laughs> so this dude probably be in the bath, just like. <laughs> just like washing his body with a bar of soap and in one like hand, f- touching fake tits, and just fucking bing and bangle. And I was like, Jesus, dude, that's, that's like that's crazy. That's like, money. If you can just like, yeah. If you don't care, bathtub tits. If you just put tits in your house, I remember one year, <laughs> one year for Christmas, someone hang it up like a deer head. Yeah, one year for Christmas, someone got me like from like Spencer's gifts. It was like a squishy ball, and it was a tit. One un tit un tit. Nice. A single tit. Yeah. I was going to say tight, but... No. That might be like a, a slur somewhere, I'm sure. Tight? It's a, That's an aggressive sounding word. Well, it's an actual word, tight. Well, yes, but I was spelling it with T-I-T-E. Oh. But, man, <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want to sexualize, like, sexualize the cool parts of human sexuality, not fucking foreskin. Yeah, weird. Who is like, oh, yes, he has foreskin? I think some people, Europeans... What? Don't Europeans, like... Why? So you could like so it's like bubble gum when you're sucking a cock. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Bubble gum. What is going on, man? What's going on? Welcome back to Base Vineyard. Welcome back to Base Vineyard. Uh, oh, I, I never. Yeah, like I, I saw that lamp and I was like, yo, they're really leaning into this. Yeah, I know. I just you know. Or here we go. I got a lot of ideas <laughs> on these lamps. Make it so like. It's like the other way. Big lamp, a lot of ideas. Big lamp, a lot of ideas. Make it so it's the other way. Teach people how to put on condoms. So, like, to turn on the lamp, you have to roll it down like a condom. They're not teaching kids. You don't roll down condoms with two hands, right? You can if you're fucking working with a a PM. What's that? Pete Molino. (laughs) (laughs) PM? Why did I even ask? Bro, I grew a cucumber in my garden. 
let me tell you, big, big, very peat like. Stop. Very big. I saw a picture of that cucumber. Uh, posted yesterday. Yeah. Did he, uh, no, uh, the real cucumber, not Pete's. Oh, no, no, no. Cucumber. No, that cucumber's staying in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Uh, but, yeah, I just didn't understand why there was this jerk off lamp. Yeah, no, it's a little fucking crazy. Honestly. Would you get one? A jerk off lamp? Yeah. I, I don't really have the aesthetic for that. You have enough lamps in here. I think you can afford another. I mean, these are work lamps. I'm sure if you put it right there. And you want me to just, what, jerk it off and just... Just, like, turn it on. It might just be like a like a fidget spinner. Like, you don't, you're not going to buy it for what yourself. What country do you think made that? Oh, the Dutch. <laughs> Where is the Dutch? The Danish from... No, isn't Dutch and Danish? Daneland? Dateland? Daneland. Dan- Where are the Danish from? Denmark? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Daneland. <laughs> That's well. The, the Dutch is the Netherlands. Yes, but at the Amsterdam. Netherlands, yeah, that's in there. Yo, they got very, too many names for this very shit. Ba- yeah, there's like Dutch, Dutch Netherlands, uh, fucking Belgium, uh, Czech, <laughs> Belgium. Have one name for all the countries. Wales. That's an animal, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Turkey. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's also an animal. Figure it out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Kuwait. Also reminds me of a Pokemon. Oh, uh, that would be a cool Pokemon. What, what's the? There's a Pokemon that's close to that. Kuwait. Um. Kabu, kab, kab, there's Kabuto. Kabuto. Kuwait and Kabuto. Mm, not so close. <laughs> Kabuto Kamato. I mean, mm, not how it works. Oh no! Holy shit! What? Did you see? Speaking of the Danish, which we never do on here. But no one's speaking of the Danish. We were. We said they're Danes. Oh yeah, the Danes. The Great Danes. That's a dog, too. Yeah. Did you see the show that they have? Who? The Danish. You think I know about Danish, a Danish television? A Danish show. No. Okay. There is a Danish... Wait, real quick. Why do you know this? Because I am educated. There oh. is... <laughs> Guys, here's Frank Alvarez. He's well-educated in Danish... Children's shows. Cinema. Oh, Danish children's show. Yes. Oh, yeah. is this something that Miles is watching? No. And you'll find out why in a second. Okay. It's a Danish kids show. It's claymation. You know how they like, you know, like make clay and it's like, you know, and they take pictures. Oh, clay animation? Claymation. Got it. It's called John Dillermond. Okay. You heard about this? Sh- no. You heard about that? It's about, it's a Danish kids show about a guy who has a magical cock. <laughs> Bro. When you say wait, hold on. Go ahead. Ask all of them. I, I know like get him out. Is it advertised as a cock or is it like you're saying it's a cock? I'm glad you asked. I did the research. And by did the research mean I watched a YouTube video. That's research. Research. Its name is John Dillermond because in the Danish language, which I don't know what they speak, Danny Danny. Danny <laughs> Diller means fucking cock, dick, penis. So it's John Cockman? Cockman. Penis man. Is it like a superhero? He basically, he's a superhero that has a giant dick. That like... You see this dick? Sh- yes. Not like fleshy dick. It's like in his shorts, which are like red and white stripes. He just has like a big bulge? Just... No. It is a fucking... It's like a rope? Yes. Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I gotta like look this up. You Wait, gotta look this up. John, um, Dillerman. So he's got a, he's got a, he's got a, he's got no joke. I don't think there's any limit to the amount that this dick can do. What does it do? What It'll, is the show about? It's about him like just like living with a huge cock. What but is, it's like he uses it to like save kids, walk dogs. He walks dogs with his he dick? He uses his dick as a leash and like then has extra dick. To hold a snossage in front of them. A what? Snossage. Is that a sausage? For dogs. You don't know what snossages are? No. You have a dog. John Dillermond. D-I-L-L-E-R-M-A-N-D. This guy's walking on a tightrope dick? His dick is a tightrope, which he then uses to also balance himself. Wait, this guy's dick is... Wait. Big, big ol' hammerhead. This is big. This is big. Because... First of all, he's wearing like just a white 
he looks like a candy cane. And his dick looks like a candy cane. Yeah, yeah. But it's like a long, snaky thing. Yeah. His dick in this photo, it's literally, if you type in John Dillerman, it is the first image that pops up. And he's standing see. in his backyard. Yep. He's standing in his backyard like this. <laughs> and his dick is snaked out. Out. And then it's, it's up in the air, holding onto a gas can that's starting... A, a fire. A fire on a grill. Actually, he's pouring gas on like meat that's cooking. Not how you cook. Not a good idea. Yeah, he's probably poisoning somebody. Well, I mean, with that dick, he's oh, probably done way more harm. This is the picture of him walking dogs with his dick. Big big dog dick walker. Dude, what the hell? Bro, he's playing tennis with himself. He's holding one and his dick is all holding other. This thing is sentient. <laughs> what was that word he just said? Sentient. Oh, okay. It's okay. a real word. Don't try to come for me. I'm educated. No, no, no. <laughs> Danish cinema and words. That's it what you got. It was fucking like crazy. Like I couldn't believe it. Did you watch it? I watched like clips and he's like, yo, like happy with the dick. And then they asked, like there was like some interview with the people that made it. Cause it's like a kid's show. And they were like, yo, like what is up? Like, why does this guy? And they were like, oh, it's not a penis. And they're like, definitely a penis. It's a pee pee. Oh, so it's not advertised as a penis. Well, it's in the name. Yeah. And the guy's name is John Dickman. And they say, no, it's not a penis. What well, do they, they say it is? Then they're like, all right, they back up a little. They're like, it is a penis, but it's not sexualized. Hey. You made a whole TV show about a penis. Guess what? In a, a penis, in is its nature, is literally used for two things. Evacuation and procreation. Nice. So inherently, it is sexual. Masturbation. Uh, sure. More, more, but more in Asians. nature, in nature, it's used for those two things. Right. Naturally, like you can go your whole life without jerking off. You'd what be a life. fucking murderer. Yeah, that'd be a little crazy. But <laughs> I couldn't believe this, and it's like it's very, and they're like, oh, we do this so kids don't have to be, uh, uh you know, like, uh, what's the word uh, that I'm looking for? Embarrassed and self-conscious. Kids have twenty-foot dicks. Because this, this thing says, be embarrassed about, what, having a big old floppy dick? John Oliver applauds charming children's show about man with 20-foot penis. There's nothing charming about a dick that long. I just saw a video of him f using the... This is real. I saw a video... This is very real, everyone. I just saw a video of uh, John Dillermond, uh, and his dick was in the air, spinning like a helicopter, yes. and he was able to fly and save drowning kids with a flying dick. I'll say this. If I had a big dick... You'd fly with a it? A bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have a tiny I, fucking penis... Yeah. <laughs> I and I had the ability to like use it to like help people. How would you like fucking kids drowning? You'd walk a dog with your shit, throw it. You know, how does this dude ever even have sex? He's got. Oh, well, apparently sex. he can like make. It's like Mr. Fantastic's arms. He oh, can he make can like, like make it a normal dick. So I guess he could be like, yo, like I'm only giving you like an inch and a quarter tonight. <sighs> an inch and a quarter. <laughs> what? Oh, bro. I clicked on this uh, article and it says, can a Danish TV show about a giant penis really be sexless? And then I click on it and literally at the top, there's a quote and it says, to me, this penis is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it says. That's to me, this great. penis is out of control. That's the Atlantic. I, I don't think there's a way that you can have a show about a penis that's not like... No, and a I, big old like candy cane looking dick. And I get like the idea of like having shows where you teach kids about like their body and stuff like that. Dude, what benefit is this show having on anybody? If anything, I'd be a, a kid and being like, "Damn, y'all, my favorite." You're, you know TV what's gonna show? happen? You're gonna have kids like trying to stretch their fucking pee pees out, or trying to save people with their penises, or trying to walk the dog with their dicks. <laughs> That that's the most dangerous one, I think. Yeah, because the dog. If my dog saw, if my dog was attached to my penis and he saw a squirrel, good my penis. Well, I think if your dog saw your dick, he'd try to eat it. My dog's definitely seen my penis. Really? Yeah. What do you think? I like hide from him? I don't know. I, I assume that you wouldn't show your dog your fucking well, balls. I, I don't like show him like, oh hey, take a look at this. <laughs> like I'm not like a fucking like a peeping know. tom. Yeah. No. Well, that's not it. Yep. Flasher. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not like a flashing him. You're I'm, not flashing him. I just like take a shower and then like you know what do I get dressed in front Your of kibbles him. kibbles and bits, just right in his face. Yeah. Or sometimes like I'll sleep naked and then in the morning I'll just like go get a glass of water or something. Wait, you sleep naked? Not all the time. As, as an adult? Yeah. Yo, legit. The last I don't think I've slept naked in like on purpose in years. How'd you do it by accident? <laughs> just like been drunk Hammered? and a little like how you doing? Oh, you had a little, how's your, how's your, uh, yeah. you know? How's it going? A little strajol. Oh, your wish yet? Yeah. Nice. Uh, but like, not like being like, yo, you know what I'm going to do tonight? Sleep naked. Well, sometimes it's like. I don't trust my body that much. I need to be like very comfortable. Like I, I when I wear like shorts or something to sleep, if they're too tight, like if the elastic is too tight, I just fuck, I'm like, I'm not wearing Well, I'll, I'll do you one better. Get new shorts. Yeah, I could. No, yeah. because they're no, no, no. I'll do you one better. You probably should if you're uncomfortable in them. No, they're not. They're uncomfortable for sleep. They're not uncomfortable for just wearing. What about just boxers? I don't know. I don't like it being so tight on my stuff. You're sleeping though. You don't feel it. I definitely. I have to fall asleep. I need to be comfortable. You can't fall asleep if your fucking boxers are too tight. I just like. I, I don't Bro, know. Bro, you rich people, man. Yeah. You fucking piss me off. That's what it is? Yeah. I'm wearing tighties right now. You're not. I am. You're wearing tidy whiteies? Not whiteies. Tidy greaties. But they're tighties? Yeah. Uh, so they're like. I'll show full... you after we do the show. So wait, hold on. Like full on, like the V? Yep. Like an old man. Yep. Why? Uh, it's the first one I grabbed this morning. You, you wear them all the time? No, I only have th- three <laughs> pairs. And it was just one I grabbed this morning. Three too many. Uh, you could argue. I'm not gonna argue. I'm gonna say that. Oh, you're just gonna make the yeah the the. So you just say that. So you just wear them. Is it not uncomfortable? Honestly, no. It's actually kind of freeing on my thighs. <laughs> Are you wearing jeans? Uh, they're like work pants. They're like like a like a. But that's a rough pant. No, it's not. Feel it. I need to see these whites. They're not whites. Oh, those are nice, actually. Yeah, really nice. They're but, not, but would you would you tidy white, white. Look, tidy gray in a? Oh my God, they're fruit of the loom. Damn right they are. <laughs> those things will be fucking. Wow. They come up high. They're they're good pretty, for you. They're pretty comfortable. I can't. But then it's I just like a ball. There pop are some out? days where I have thongs on. Well, yeah. That was what I was my next question. Yeah, my uh, but honestly, the the part of the thong that is uncomfortable, I would assume for me, would be the front part. No, oh. the back part, like if it's just living as a in woman, there, as a man, well, if it's just a, living yeah. in there, whatever. But like when it all gets bunched up in there, if it's like a piece of string, like a shut. I, <laughs> no, if I was wearing a thong, Enjoy. of course, as a man, your balls are the only thing that hurts. Yes, because like penises don't hurt unless they're. A little bit hard, <laughs> or very, or all very the hard. hard. Penis is not fun. Yeah, it's not cool. But like a soft penis, you could literally <laughs> punch it. it. Nothing happens. To literally, it. you can do anything you but want to you it. Flick my balls, even that would send me to the hospital. I remember reading something, and it was like, why did men for years call like people it, that were like not strong or not tough like pussies? And it's like pussies are durable. Balls suck. Balls aren't, yeah. Balls do suck. You gotta have big balls to do that. It's like, I really don't. I, I'm okay with the balls. Yeah. Like, they don't, like, big balls would be more of a nuisance. Also, did they, like, castrate, like, a lot of people in, like, the Spartan army or some shit? So it's yeah, like, I those think dudes had no balls, but they had balls. They, like, it was weird. It was like, yo, if you wanna be a Spartan, you need to, like, fuck these boys and then, like, go goodbye to your balls. So, yeah. like, you, ne- you don't wanna fuck anyone else any- ever again. Yeah. It's like, you're only a soldier. Here's a spear, and there are your balls. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. I mean, it worked out for them. Not a bad strategy if you, like, really think about it. I know nothing about history, so you can tell me the Spartans did everything, and I would believe you. Yeah. Um, we have also <laughs> sponsors for today. Before we get to the sponsors, I want to let you know about our Patreon account. Patreon? What's Patreon? Well, it's like a subscription service, but it gives you more basement yard. And we have tiers starting as low as... Lowest tier, Joey? $5. Oh! And what does $5 tier get you? It gets you every single weekly episode a week in advance. So, guess what? You know when you go on YouTube, you watch the episode on Monday morning, and you're like, oh my god, why is this comment from six days ago? How did people know about this before I did? I have FOMO now. Those patrons at that tier get that weekly episode a week in advance. 
So you get the opportunity to do that. And then the next tier, you get exclusive episodes that nobody else gets. What is that? Oh, just the fucking most balls out. No, well, there's no balls. No balls, YouTube, in those videos. No balls. But maybe if we get to a certain amount. Okay. Uh, but uh, just crazy fucking hysterical episodes. We've done everything from Power Hour to a Hot Wing Challenge to, you know, ranking Disney characters, men. Just awesome episodes. So uh, you can check it out. Patreon.com slash The Base of Yard. Choose the tier that's right for you. We're currently at 9,300 as of recording. We get to 9,500. You get a little something. We get to 10,000. Joey is going to let me pee on his foot. So Patreon.com slash The Base Yard. Last part. I don't know about that. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, the uh, first sponsor for today is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is uh, online counseling. You can start communicating just under 48 hours um, with your new therapist. They have uh, licensed professionals that specialize in you know things like depression, anxiety, or family trauma, anything like that. Um, they have someone specifically for you. You can also trans uh, transfer therapists, you know, very uh, seamlessly as well. Um, but yeah, it's great. You can talk you could text uh with your therapist so they make it easy to to you know kind of work around you and, and your wants um and you can also get 10 percent off of your first month if you sign up at betterhelp.com slash yard that is betterhelp.com slash yard uh again that is 10 percent off of your first month um if you do that and again um you know a lot of people actually you know hit me up and, and said they do better help and they and they like it um over 1 million people have used better help so you know, go check it out. Again, that is betterhub.com slash yard for 10% off of your first month. Uh, next here we have HelloFresh. Uh, HelloFresh, you get pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Um, so you skip trips to the grocery store. I personally love this, not only for the convenience that the food just like shows up at your doorstep, but because I don't really know what to cook sometimes. Um, I'm not really like creative in that way. Like I usually eat like the same six things. Um, so this is like a nice way to kind of break that up, break that up, uh, to break it up. They'll send you recipes and they say, or you pick them on the site and then they'll send it to you. And then you have, uh, like the recipe card and you can just make it yourself. Um, and then you know what to make. And then, you know, the ones that you really like, you can keep making those. So you kind of add to your repertoire in that way. Um, also they use very fresh ingredients. Um, it's also 28% cheaper than shopping at your lo local grocery store and 72% uh, cheaper than a restaurant obviously. Um, so you're saving money and you're getting better at cooking and you're getting um, some cool recipes uh, with great quality food. Um, and now you can go to hellofresh.com slash basement 14 and use the code basement 14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Okay. That is hellofresh.com slash basement 14. Use the code basement 14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. All right. So go check them out. Um, but yeah, that is all for right now. We'll come back later. Don't do it. Don't do it. Friends of the show, eh? What? Friends of the show, yeah? Uh, yeah. All right. Fuck you, me. Um, so something happened this weekend that I wanted to talk to you about because I, I think you would be very proud of it. Uncle Joey would be really proud. Okay. Um, I, I'm pretty sure Miles has his first crush. And Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> the dog's tail. Fuck. Charlie, come here. Fucking get out of here, Chewbacca. Oh, he tripped. Oh, my God. Here goes this idiot. You're fine. Oh, good. Okay. I'm pretty sure he has his first crush. Jennifer Lopez. No. It's not a real person. Come on. You could get this. Not a real person? Not a real person. Is it a spirit? No. It's not a spirit. <laughs> like, I don't... What, is he like the fucking ghost of, like, Susan B. Anthony? No. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, pretty cool ghost, maybe, but... Yeah. Come on. Um, uh, a fake person. Fake person. Like a mannequin at a store. No, no, no. Oh, oh like an actor. Or an act. Or, oh, no, those are real people. Yes. I meant like a, like a, you? What's wrong a with character you? that yes. someone's playing. Yes, yes. Mila Kunis in um, 51st, not 51st Not It 51st is season. not a What's real it? person. Oh, so a, an animated character. Yes. Oh, okay. Kim Possible. No. What? Not a bad one, though. What? But Damn. no. I don't think he's discovered Kim Possible yet. That's for another day. One at a time. Jasmine. No. Bell? No. Snow White? No. Good. I'm not. I think she's overrated. Who likes Snow White? Do you like doilies? Here's Snow White. What doilies? Yeah. What is that? Like those like paper like fucking fancy things. I don't know. Yeah. Um, where can you give me a hint? Give me one. It, it, I know for a fact it was one of your crushes. Roxanne. No, but that's a good one too. He's watched Goofy movie. I'm shocked he hasn't picked up on Roxanne yet. Crazy. Uh, Lola Bunny. Yes. 
Ooh. Miles got his first crush. That's a good one. That's a that's a real I'm so like proud. That's a hot place to start. Becca and I were talking Smoky we were, Bunny. That's a that's a hot bunny. Yeah. yeah. And and it, is it a bunny or a rabbit? Or is it bunny rabbit? Well, what she's is that? Lola Bunny. I think uh, a bunny is like all bunnies are rabbits, but not all rabbits are bunnies. You know, like you can have What's a hair? That's like a cool rabbit. I thought it was like a, one of them's a male. I think it's yeah, it's like a hair and a like a tortoise and a hare. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. I'm I not going to pretend. I saw one get killed the other day. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> well, no, I was watching that show alone. So, oh, yeah. They, like, they like kill... They, th- is that the one where she like went like this with the guts and like took all the shit out of it and then ate it? Well, that happens pretty much every episode. It does. But this this one woman like set up a snare and like got this fucking uh, bunny. Yep. And then she had to break its fucking neck. Yeah. Oh, I wa- and she cried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that episode. I was like, God damn. If you are like into like watching bunnies die, watch that show alone. Happens quite Hell frequently. Yeah. Or squirrels. Squirrels and bunnies. I feel nothing when the squirrels die. <laughs> All of the squirrels can die right now. Literally whatever. But I was so like, so he watched, because um, the new Space Jam just came out. Yeah. And then to get him like ready for it, we had him watch the original from the 90s. Nice. Again, bad movie, but holds a special place in my heart. Michael Jordan can't act. Well, I never watched that movie from a. I know, I know, but like, it's like if you watch it, it's really, really fun. Trash. It's really funnily bad. And uh, at the end of it, he was like, "Uh, "Mama, can I watch more with Lola Bunny?" And we were like, "I was like, oh, dude, okay." So he was watching a bunch with Lola Bunny, and then he watched the new Space Jam. Wait, what else is in Lola Bunny in? She's in like the newer like shows and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And um, we watched the new Space Jam, which you haven't seen yet, which I'm not going to spoil for everyone. But like, there's like a th- like a like a plot thread where it's like, oh, if the Toons don't win the game with LeBron James, they get deleted, like they're dead. Okay. So Miles is watching, and he's like, I want Bugs Bunny to get deleted. Damn, that's gangster, dude. <laughs> Miles is like, yo. <laughs> Shorty bad He's fucking all about it <laughs> Yo kill his ass That's mad funny And Becca was telling me She's like I feel like happy That this is his first Cause she's he, We asked him A couple days later Cause he said like You know like He denied it We weren't like asking Like do you have a crush On Lola Bunny We were just like Why do you like Lola Bunny And he just kept Like avoiding it And then finally He said that he's, he's like No you know what guys Like I really do like Lola Bunny Like I have a crush on her Aww. It was so fucking cute That is And we were like Alright why He goes Cause she's just like Good at basketball Damn. And Becca's heart like exploded. Damn, he would love like Candace Parker then. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. She could ball. You know, I I don't know <laughs> many. I I can't even make a reference to a W. Lisa Leslie. He'd be all about Lisa. Oh Leslie. my God, Lisa wouldn't stand a chance. Not a single one. <laughs> L. A. Sparks. Here she comes. And there goes my contact. Oh, we're good. Did it like move? Yeah, I flipped it. But back. like, I was so. And then and then. He's like, we're sitting at the pool on Saturday at my mom's place. And he's like, I want to meet the real Bugs and Lola Bunny. And we're like, Miles. Wow. I forget how old he is. He's six. So he thinks they're real. He thought. And then we're like, Miles, like. You dropped a bomb on him at the pool? I, we didn't drop a bomb, but we were like, we can, like, maybe we can go to Six Flags and, like, see them there. And he goes, no, those are just actors in suits. And we were like, God, this is devastating. And he go, bro, you would not believe what happens next. Bro, doesn't Miles know that if Lola Bunny was real, I'd date her? Yeah. Well, we know you would. I'd be, he would have been at your house. That's she would have been at your house. That's what I'm saying. And he's like, no, those are just actors in suits. And then we're like, well, Miles, like, how do you explain that? Well, so here's how we explained it. Oh, we is- explained that. They are real, but they live in a cartoon universe that we don't know how to get to yet. When I say that this kid bawled his eyes out. No. Bro, it oh. fucking, it hurt me so bad. So bad. We weren't like, he's not, they're not real. We were just like, he was able to piece in his head that they weren't real. He, I'm in the pool and I get out and I go over and I'm like, what's wrong? And he goes, my dreams are ruined. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm like, holy fuck! This kid, he's like, my dreams are ruined because <laughs> I'll never be able to re- meet the real Bugs and Lola Bunny. Dude, crazy! I've had that feeling about like actual people. But like, good on him for a first crush. 
Yeah, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. He, to, to come to, to grips with that? You just he also, met him. He also, the first time we showed him... Um, Dude, he was for real. Yo, you know what's the funniest part about this? He thought they were real. And he still was like, hope Bugs Bunny dies. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you know how fucking awesome that is? That's fucking- he's just like, yeah, let him go. It'll, like- make an, it'll make an opportunity for me. <laughs> Literally, he's like, I feel nothing. Let the- <laughs> he was full sociopath at that point Fuck in time. Bugs. He was super ready. Oh, and, God. Um, but it also, like, Beckham reminded me, we showed him Who Framed Roger Rabbit a couple months ago. That's a sexual character there. And... He was playing, I was going through like old stuff I had from years and years and years ago, and he was playing with a selfie stick, and he was taking pictures, and he took pictures of Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> when was this? Fucking like a year ago, maybe. It makes, I mean, I get it. She's a very booby. But like, I think, like, I'm more proud of the Lola Bunny, because she's like sporty and chill. <laughs> and she's like, you know, like, don't call me. Down. Yeah, she's she's she's. And it's like, damn, like this girl's a big fan, big fan, big time fan. Yeah, and I just, I had to share that with you because this kid, bro, it broke my heart because he was crying. Damn. So here's how we fixed it. I've cried mad times, bro. Yo, one time, oh my god, I gotta tell you this story. Hold on, let me just tell you how we okay, fixed okay, it. Okay, sorry, quick. sorry, sorry. We told him, th- it was all coming out at once. We were like, yo. Miles, like, they live in a cartoon world. You can meet them. Maybe you'll become a scientist so you can make the technology to go meet them. You guys tried to bribe him into being a scientist? (laughs) That's so smart, dude. It was fucking genius. He's like, gotta be a scientist. And he goes, I'll never be a scientist. I can only make stuff with cardboard. (laughs) What does that mean? Bro, it was so heartbreaking. I'll never be a scientist. In that moment, I wanted to go get Bugs Bunny and Lola Bunny and just be like, be fucking real. Yeah. For two minutes. (laughs) Yeah. It was so sad. Damn. It was so, so sad. All because of Space Jam. Good job. Yeah. That was so funny, dude. Yeah. But what were you going to say? You cried before. Oh, dude. I remember um, I had a crush on Joanna. Oh, yes. A big, fat crush. You had a you crushed on her like a crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You did. crushed on her like a crap. You no. did. So I had a big crush on her. And I don't really remember why, but I was bawling, crying in my room. And my mom, like, literally almost beat the shit out of me for this. But I was crying in my room, and she heard me. I must have, like, told her I liked her. And she was just like, oh, no, I kind of like, you know, whatever. And uh, very much friend zone back in the day. Yeah, I remember with, that. With her. I remember. Joanna <laughs> once said that she'd be my girlfriend at the top of a block. Time we got to the bottom, broke up with me. <laughs> Same girl, right? Say same girl that Frankie dated for uh, fifty-seven uh, steps. Literally, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so whatever happened, I was in my room crying. Or whatever, my mom comes in, she goes, "What's going on?" And I was like, "Nothing, nothing." I'm like, it's fine. And I'm like, whatever, trying to like hide. And I'm sitting at the edge of my bed. She comes in next to me, puts her arm over me. She's like, "What's wrong?" Because I'm like crying. And she's like, what's wrong? I was like, stop. Like, leave me alone. Whatever. She's like, tell me what's wrong. What's going on? And then, I, and then this is what I said. I was like, mom, relax. It's not like someone touched me or anything. That's what I said. And then she literally like turned me around and goes, what the fuck was that? She was like, what did you just say? Holy shit. You, you brought it yeah. from here uh, yeah. to that side. I was, and I was super young. Like I, like, I didn't realize what I, I was like saying. Like 11, maybe? Yeah, my, my, my mom was like... Tight. Like now she was I like, need to know. She's like, fucking tell me. Yeah. Now. Basically, right? She Holy like turned shit. me and like grabbed my shoulder. She's like, what the fuck did you just say? Holy shit. And then I was like, no, it's about Joanna. She doesn't like me. And then mom's like, oh, all right. Like she must have left that room and been like, that fucking idiot. Bro, do you, like, from someone that has kids, do you know, like, the anxiety that would go through my head if something like, like, if they said yeah. something like that? I would, I would physically yeah. kill people. I'd be like, yo, you need to, I, but, I, like, retrace your steps. Yeah, I, I once remember, you probably don't remember this, and you, I remember. I'm going to hate this? I mean, maybe. <laughs> we were in, like, seventh grade. I remember exactly when it was, and I'll tell you why I remember, because I cried for two reasons that night. Okay. <laughs> One was my favorite teacher from seventh grade left the school, so he wouldn't be back. And two, <laughs> I, I just cried. I don't know what to say. It's fine. Two, I called you up crying 
Because of Chris Farley. <laughs> Wait, what? It was like 2005 at this point. I called you up and I was like, yo, he's really gone. <laughs> like, by the way. Mind you, Chris Farley. Seven years dead. Dead at that point. Super dead. I, I remember that so well. And you were like, what? <laughs> and then I was like, yo, like Chris Farley, man. He was so ta-. And then you like started and you're like, yo, don't do this to me right now. And you got, you didn't like full on cry like me, but you started, you were like, yo, I gotta go. For real? <laughs> yup. Yup. We had a nice little cry we session had a, We had a little cry session. How do you remember that? I have impeccable memory. I don't do this to me right yeah, now. Yeah, I have really, really good memory. <laughs> That's amazing. Damn, just a couple cry saddy just boys. Just a couple cry sad boys. I'm trying to think of other times I've cried. Well, I, yeah, I've cried mad times. Bro, the movie Click. Bald like a bitch. Dude, I cried super hard at Airbud, and my sister made fun of me that fucking bitch. Dude, fuck your sister. Yeah. I got made fun of for crying for small soldiers. What? Why? That had like a happy ending. Did it? Alan Abernathy got rid of his toys and sent them away. You're right. Pretty sad. Well, they kind of, they had a mission. They didn't. They had a mission. They, they had wanted to get, to get home. Yeah, what was it called? Like, Zazer, Zazerracked... <laughs> Zazer, what was it? Go ahead. Come, come. I, I, I don't, I know for a fact it's not Zazarek. Oh, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's like Gorg, uh, Gorgon. Gorgon. Gorgon? Gorgon. Well, I the, thought he was Gorgon. He was, no, his, he was Archer, emissary of the Gorgonites. Bang. I told you. I cried hard for that and Jack Frost. Yo, Jack Frost, son. Motherfucking, what's his name? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. I kind of like Michael Keaton. I love Michael Keaton. I got a little Keaton crush. Keaton, Beetlejuice, Birdman, Batman. He was good in a movie where he... What was the movie where he works in um, Bed Bath & Beyond? He was good in that. Click. That was Click? Oh, no. Sorry. That was Christopher Walken. Um, uh, the other guys. Yes. Yes, yes. That was a good that movie. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was yeah. a good movie. Yeah, I like Keaton. But, yo... Jack Frost sent me into space. Put me, put me in dead. Oh, you remember when we went to uh, my dog Skip for my third birthday and I cried? Yes, and do you remember why I cried that day? Because of Bridget. I did. I called a girl that I liked gay. Is that what happened? Yes. And I felt bad for it. <laughs> and I cried. We were in like second grade. I know where we were. <laughs> I know exactly where we were. I remember I was really, like, I remember I ins- I did it and I instantly felt bad. And I cried in the bathroom and you... This had to be 1999. Oh, oh yeah. You, Keith, and Richie uh, came into the bathroom. You're like, yo, it's okay. Like, it's all right. Yeah. I was and like, I was like, I, was I like, felt no bad. Cares. I felt bad. Yeah. Because I called her gay. Yeah. I'd feel bad calling anyone that. Yeah. But like... Especially in 1999. Especially in 1999. Especially a girl that I liked. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's dude. fucking yeah. I remember such little tidbits. We watched my dog skip. By the way, movie sucks. Does it? Uh, maybe the dog just <laughs> sucks. Frankie <laughs> Muniz w- looks weird now. I mean, he's still like thirteen looking. It was like, oh, take this thirteen year old and put a goatee on him. I was like, I don't know if that's how you age. <laughs> yeah. I don't you, know if he knows how to age. Do you remember that movie, Big Fat Liar? Yeah, well, someone with blue. It was Evans him, blue. Amanda Bynes. Amanda Bynes has got some stuff going on. She's, she's, she's suffering. I used to have a big fat crush on oh, her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was a big Bynes guy. Yeah, 100%. Bend it like Beckham. Is that her? No. <laughs> it was, uh, wait. No, that was Kate Bosworth. No, wait. Fuck. What's the movie? With her playing like, soccer. Yeah, and she like pretends to be a dude or something. Uh, well, that's she's the man. That's the one. Oh, isn't there another one where she's not pretending to be a boy? No, Bend it like Beckham is like a... Is like a different. I know thing. it's it's a like a, I don't know what to refer to this person as in terms of nationality, but I think they were Indian, possibly. And then uh, she's the one. Kay's, she's the one. No, 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 no. I'm saying she was the one. I think she's in a movie called She's, she's the, one. the One. No, she's the one who bends it like Beckham. I think I think you're not wrong. Yeah. I think she does do the bending. You think uh, David Beckham got paid for that? I would hope so. He's like, hey, man, I started the bend. Amanda Bynes was in What a Girl Wants. She's the man. She's the man. Is, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Uh, what other ones? She's been in a lot of shit. Um, Not, that's, no. All that. Big fat liar. She hasn't really been in that many movies. Yeah, she hasn't. Specifically as of late, because apparently she suffers from pretty bad, I think, schizophrenia. Have you seen her recently? 
No. She looks completely different. You would not recognize her. Well, I've seen her when, like, the whole thing started getting, like... She, like, posted, like, last year a picture of her, like, a pregnancy announcement, and you would not be able to tell it was her. I couldn't believe it. Well, I saw I saw when she started, like, when the spiral originally started. I just want to make something very clear. I meant to type in Amanda Bynes, yeah. and I typed in pregnancy announcement. <laughs> <laughs> and just, like, a bunch of pregnancy stuff came up. Um, bro, you would not recognize her. Let me see. I couldn't believe that was her. This looks like this girl Katrina that I used to know. I forget her last name. The Hurricane? No, 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 no. <laughs> the Hurricane. Oh! Are you talking about the girl I went to high school with? Yes. No, not her. It was a different... I think it was middle school. Um, but, yeah. She looks way. like that. Uh, she has a heart tattoo on her face? Yeah. Bro, you think... Like, what? Like, but like love Frankie this- Muniz is still rich. Like, he, like, openly tells people that he's still rich, which I guess it may not be true. He says that? Like, I think someone recently said, like, fucking Frankie Muniz, retire and go away, loser. And he's like, yeah, with my $40 million. Damn. Yeah, some shit. Or, like, maybe it's, like, 20 Still a lot. That's more than enough. Not enough to be Joe Santagato, but still a good amount. <laughs> um, but, like, you often think of people like that, like, just, like, up and dipping, and then they're still millionaires. Yeah, well, also, like, the TV show, I think you get some, like, sort of syndication. If it's in syndication. Yeah. Like, fucking Michael Richards. What else has he been in besides Seinfeld? Hot water. So right. <laughs> oh man, that's what you come here for, so folks. You get the big bucks, that's man. You get the- <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, it's hot. I wonder if some people don't get that joke. Uh, he used a racial slur. He used the racial slur. Yeah. <laughs> and not only just used it, he doubled, tripled, and quadrupled, and whatever comes after that, because I don't know. Quintupled. Quintupled. Yeah. He. It was a. It he went. Night. He went in for it. And then, did, yo, do you remember the the uh, apology he gave on like Leno? Or it was like Leno or, or Letterman, and he's trying to give an apology, and the, and Seinfeld is there, and it's like on like a video screen, and the audience thinks he's like making a joke, so they start laughing, oh. and Seinfeld's like, "This is serious." Stop laughing. <laughs> it's fucked. It is fucking awful. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> That was good, Joey. No, yeah, all of them are like super fucking. That's what I'm saying. And like the show hasn't been on since what? 98? No, it's I'm saying like Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh yes, something like that. But or 97, I think. But they run that show fucking all the time. Yeah. They also took it off of Hulu and it's going to be on Netflix, so they probably resold it again. Yeah, for like half a billion dollars. Yeah, that's that's like what The Office was. The Office made half a billion dollars. What? Why can't we do stuff like that? Let's write a show for Netflix. They'll take anything nowadays. Literally, no, they won't. Bro, you seen the show with the people that are dating and they're dressed up like beavers and shit? What? What? You didn't see this? Dressed up like beavers? Bro. Let me, let me, we're going to get to the sponsors real quick before we go to beavers. I'm pulling that fucking shit up. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like a dress up show that you date. Um, we have two more sponsors. Uh... Uh, for uh, this week. Uh, one is Evive Nutrition. Okay? And uh, these are actually super awesome. I've actually gotten targeted ads about them and I was like, these are awesome. Um, but they're like these cubes. So you put the Evive cubes in a bottle, you add your liquid of choice and you wait 20 minutes and then you shake it and it's a blender-free uh, smoothie and they have amazing like taste. So it's like this little square and you put like eight of them, I believe, into a cup and you put like almond milk or whatever you want to put in there and then you wait 20 minutes and then you just shake it. And then it's like a smoothie. Um, and they have uh, orange peach, they have uh, blueberry, uh, they have cashew mocha, they have passion mango, like they're really good and there's like, they're very healthy. And you could go on their site, look at all the nutritional facts. Um, it is amazing. There's a lot like 15, there's 15 grams of protein in some of them or 18 grams of protein, like 
they're really good. Um, so it's uh, three steps, blender free smoothie, um, delicious plant-based breakfast solution. Uh, and yeah, these are like perfect for breakfast too. I'm not a big breakfast guy, um, but I do like smoothies and this just makes it very easy to do, honestly. Um, you just have these cubes, put them in, boom, you got it. Uh, high quality ingredients, organic fruit and vegetables, superfoods, and plant-based protein in each smoothie. No added sugar, no artificial flavors or preservatives, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, uh, certified organic, and free shipping. Um, you can order online with the code thebasementyard20 and get 20% off and free delivery right to your door. Uh, visit the website evive, E-V-I-V-E, nutrition.com and discover uh, all the delicious products today. Again, the code is thebasementyard20 and you'll get 20% off and free shipping right to your door. Go check them out. Um, but yeah, like I said, you just throw these things in, boom, you're done. You're done, cuz. Uh, but yes, next here we have our last one is uh, Rex MD. Uh, men's health, not getting enough attention. Uh, and it's partly, um, you know, everyone's fault. Okay. A lot of men's health issues have really simple solutions. RexMD is here for that. Um, RexMD makes getting generic Viagra easy, all done online and from the comfort of your home, then delivered. No office. 